You know that dating motto that girls came up with? If he won't, find someone who will. Like if he won't open your door for you, find someone who will. Simple, right? My brother just asked me, does that work for guys too? I was like, of course, find a girl that is up to your standards. Yeah, so he's like, so if she doesn't cook for me, find someone who will. Yeah, technically. If she won't do my laundry for me, then find a girl that will. If she won't come to the gym with me, find a girl that will. Why does it sound so bad when men say it? I can appreciate her self-awareness to realize the hypocrisy, but the reason she feels that way, right? It's programming, it's propaganda, and it's her realizing that essentially we tell a lot of men that if you hold women to a certain standard or you expect something from women, you're a problem, you're an issue. We tell men, do not expect anything from women, but tolerate everything. Don't tell me about me. Stop telling 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 me about me. I don't need you to tell me about me. Man, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, y'all, to another one. Another episode of Let's Talk J vs. Jordan. Man, y'all hit that like and subscribe for your boy on the way in, man. Y'all know we trying to grow around here, and I can only do it with you. So, yeah, y'all hit that thing for your boy. Y'all know we about to go through some crazy videos, but we did have one that popped up because there's a trend on TikTok right now of a lot of black women, especially saying that this rich billionaire said that, you know, black women are for grownups. So we're going to talk about that and some other things, but let's get to that one first, because I think that would be pretty interesting. Apparently, Ben Horowitz has said billionaires prefer black women and some black men are upset but you know what's so funny is every time one of these black men who don't date black women and i have met several every time one of these black men who don't date black women is called out for it what do they say it's just a preference it's just a preference i'm not racist i'm not colorist it's just a preference oh. so it's it's okay to have a preference just not when we're the preference <laughs> <laughs> now if i came out and said that woman has a vendetta against black men and i think some screws are loose up here y'all be like why why would you say that well i'm glad that you asked check this out so apparently ben horowitz has said billionaires prefer black women and some black men are upset i don't mean to disrupt the celebration the hype um the party that black women are having right now because a billionaire said that Black women are for grown-ups. But, um, he never said that. It was fake. Yeah. He said he loved his wife and everything, but he would never say anything like that. So I didn't know if y'all knew. Y'all don't have to stop partying or being hype or nothing. You don't have to, you know. I just thought that I'd come and let y'all know that, no. Nope. I said what I said, and my name is Shalakimia. Billionaires prefer black women. They are loyal and guard your interests. Black wives are for grown-ups. Except he ain't say that shit. He has confirmed via the Twitter, I never said that. I never even spoke to the woman who originally posted it. I sent her a cease and desist, but well, <laughs> take that part. I love my wife, but I don't talk like that about groups of people. Yikes. His tweet was so timely because I was actually working on a post where I was trying to figure out the original source of the quote and how this post fooled so many people. Because how would y'all let a post like this fool y'all into thinking this was a real quote? Because y'all know y'all could hit Google and just Google things and find where the original source is. You would have found out that this is bullshit. But the best part about this is like he wasn't even a billionaire when he married her. They've been married for like 30 something years. He was a bartender. She worked the night shift somewhere. Uh, they met on a blind date. Regular people shit. He didn't choose her because she was a strong, black, loyal woman that he needed by his side because he was a billionaire. He chose her because he was in love with her because he loves her, the person, not her, the black woman. We have to stop with all these weird ass tropes that we are assigning to people's race. It is getting crazy. Their relationship is the result of two people who had chemistry and who had shared values and shared vision and partnership. Many of y'all have to admit that the reason you struggle in your relationships is because you're not looking for partnership. You're looking for someone to solve all your problems. Sorry, it's the truth. One second, y'all. We need to all do this together. 
Come on, come on. Everybody together. Clap it up for them sisters right there. Because we're getting tired of the nonsense. Now, look. Some lady put out a post about this billionaire. And all of these black women just ran with it. Billionaires prefer black women. Billionaires prefer, well, black women are for grown-ups. They ran with it. Ran with it. And they ran to this one white guy who had to come out and say, look, boo, I didn't say that shit. I know my wife is black, but I wouldn't do that. Y'all read this stuff. If y'all didn't, y'all need to go back, pause it, and read what he actually said. This is crazy to me. We got a lot of ladies buying into this this brainwashing and the things that they claim that their opposite sex does of their race, they're actually the ones doing it. We have a big projection problem in this country. But watch this. Look, ladies really don't get it. They really, a lot of y'all ladies don't get it. Not all of y'all, but a lot of y'all don't get it. Watch this, because y'all know y'all say men are terrible, they're predators, they touch on y'all and all this woo woo stuff. But watch this stuff. This is what they're saying now. The men are different. different. The, the men nicer, are much more respectful. Respectful, no. Because like before, you could, uh, like, you be dancing, and then after a while, you got to turn back, like, who the heck is this? No, I could be pushing back, like, he gonna come? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> like, I hear doing the most work. Sir, grab like, this wine. We didn't used to make me so annoyed when you pass people, they gotta touch you. Yeah, that's Especially too. the men. Now, mm. nobody, nobody hands up, girl. I'm kind of confused. That you, you guys sound like you're upset. You don't, you don't get no, because bum rushed now, anymore. Look, when we used to get touched, <laughs> it was annoying. You but wanted to get bum no, rushed. No, but you go to the complete opposite side. You need a balance. Don't yeah. touch me up with disrespect for me. Right, right, but right. But pull up on me. Pull Let me tell you something. Us women have these men shaking in their boots right now. They are scared, honey. Shivering. Women actually expect men to do emotional labor now. We expect men to work on themselves. And the men think that's too much to ask. Back in the day, men could earn. Women couldn't work. So we needed men. Now we're in a place in society where we don't actually need men. You know, we'd like a partner, but we don't actually need men. And I think that's got men really scared right now. Because if we don't need you, we need to want you. To want you, you need to be likable. And I think they're struggling with that. And that's why I always laugh at the gold digger conversation, because there's no gold to dig. And me and you both know there is no gold there to dig. So I'm not here for gold. Back in the day, the men would provide. You cannot even manage that. So we're not here for gold, babe. And I think men are really struggling with this because we're almost asking for too much. Asking for you to support us emotionally, you know, be emotionally intelligent. It's too much for them. Why do women suddenly want so much? It's just, they, they're mind boggled, bamboozled. So this is just a reminder, your standards aren't too high. Your standards aren't too high. The bar is in hell for men. Your standards are not too high. Keep your standards where they're at and the right man will find you, okay? All right, y'all, let's, let's peek this logic. It's not you, it's the other person. I think that we all, and this is my belief, I believe if a man wants to be with a woman, he needs to be the type of man that that woman wants. If a woman wants to be with a man, she needs to be the type of woman that that man wants. But her logic is, it ain't you, it's him and keep your standards keep doing what you're doing don't change nothing about yourself well she's saying that to the ladies to amp them up to keep on doing what she's doing because y'all know she didn't have no wedding ring on her finger so she's still in the game she ain't won nothing and she looks a little older but i want to hear from a woman that actually dates women y'all want to hear from a woman that dates women yeah i do too so let's hear from her and see what her opinion is on the whole shindig, you know? Every time I run across a nice girl, I'm always wondering like, damn, why she single? And I'm starting to figure out why you single. Cause you're the fucking problem, bitch. Ain't wanna know what the fucking problem is? That motherfucking mouth. Watch your mouth. Who the fuck are you talking to? She ain't got the fucking nerve to be talking about a soft girl era. Bitch, you was a thug. You was a fucking thug. You want me to baby a fucking thug? You telling me fuck me? You like that fucking baby off BB kids. Fuck is wrong with you? You talking shit to me. Talking shit to me. And then be like, oh, you masculine studs too sassy and sensitive. Bitch, I'm still a girl at the end of the day. Stop fucking playing with me. Every time, then every time comma start kicking their asses, I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl. I just need, no, bitch, you just need your ass whooped. That's why the universe was tired of you talking shit to a person that was doing good and real being nice to your motherfucking ass, you fucking demon. Lord, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
I don't know what I did to deserve this shit with these women. But I, I can't take it. I, I, I can't I can't take it. If you trying to show me this ain't the way, I'm going to need you to find another way to show me. Because I'm going to still keep trying. But I just feel like you need to cut this one. Cut me some slack on this one. Well, we made it, y'all. We made it to the end of the video. Y'all know this is where I give y'all that inspirational stuff. Man, when it comes to the sister that just spoke, 99.9% .9 of everything she said, I agree with. The last part that I don't agree with is that, you know, she's like, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Like, that's insanity, you know, doing the same thing over and over and over and expecting a different result. Maybe the Lord is putting stuff in your path to make you go back to where you need to go. Like, yeah, go get your man. But she didn't lie. She didn't lie. A lot of ladies know this to be true. They just keep rolling with this so-called sisterhood because, you know, they it, it supports all their degeneracy. But a lot of ladies don't like hanging around a lot of ladies. And y'all ladies know it. Y'all know how catty and how mean and how nasty ladies can be. And y'all don't like being around them in the grand scheme of things. But if it's in opposition to a man, you'll say sister code. But look, man, I, I, I'll just leave it right there. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Timestamp one, write it down below in the comment section. Which one was your favorite favorite clip? Uh, you know, I, I, I'll just be thinking I'm losing brain cells doing this shit all the time. But I'm going to keep bringing these videos for y'all, man. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Let me know if this video was a W. Or an L. I, I don't know if I did it right. Can y'all see it? Yeah, L. And I'm going to get up out of here, man. I'll catch y'all in the next one as always, man. Hey. Now don't tell me about me. Stop telling 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 me about me. I don't need you to tell me about me.